Hey YouTube, Sandy Frank here with Junior. Hey. Hey Junior. Okay, today we went to a Walmart that was not our usual Walmarts and saw something really weird. They had these Pokemon packs that the front looked funny and it's like almost like a bleached out look. And this is a, a, a regular Pokemon pack. If you can see like where it says Pokemon I'm, I'm shining the light off of it and the Pokemon itself and the breakpoint part are like real glossy colored They have these there. They're very troubling because they have they're just flat colored and bleached out looking If you can tell that and to me these look fake and that's very scary because I would be very uh, sad if people are returning like fake Pokemon packs back to the stores because I don't know how else they would have got there. This looks very suspicious to me and I wanted to go ahead and, and make this video and call it Is It Fake? So again here's the, the real genuine Pokemon pack and this is the one that's very suspicious looking. So let's go ahead and let's open the real one first so we can see what the real pack looks like when you open it. Okay. As you can see, there's the pack. It's got nice um, stamp uh, ends on both ends. Good coloring. Um, everything is um, totally sealed. If you can see that, it's not like nobody's ever tried to open it or anything. Okay, and uh, here's the code card for this pack since this is a genuine pack. Okay, we we'll do the card trick, just like always. Okay, so we've got Spritzy, we've got Temple, Chikorita, Gibble, Glamiao, um, Tierno, All Night Party, uh, Trainer. I don't think I've ever seen that one. It's got a bunch of different Pokemon on it. Having the party. Stantler. A Spritzy. Um, this is an uncommon. Or. Yeah. Uncommon Spritzy Reverse. And a Pangoro uh, Non Hollow Rare. They also look. See if you look at the back of the cards. All the coloring's perfect. Um, well centered. Doesn't look weird or anything like that. Okay, so now let's look at this suspicious looking pack. And if this is a genuine pack, I'm kind of disappointed in Pokemon because it's like a really cheap looking package now that they're switching to this instead of the nicer one. Okay. Um, let me see, like, look at the inside of this pack. Oh, oh, because I put that in there. It's all white inside. This is the good pack. Inside this pack, it's like black. I don't even see that. That's weird. It's like bleed through, like ink bleed through on the cardboard. Okay, here's the actual pack. It looks pretty good. I mean, all the stamped ends look good. Yeah, but this is, this is the uh, one from the good one. I'm glad they're the same exact pack, too. The coloring looks exactly the same. It's got the uh, slight metallic in the... Uh, in the printed on um, package so it looks okay from here it hasn't been uh, doesn't look weird there just like the other one there's a the code it actually says breakpoint booster on the code okay the back of the card looks good that looks very legit. 
Let's do a card trick. Okay. Yeah, this has a Shinx. Chikorita. Clefairy. I mean, all the fonts and everything look good. Temple. Spritzy. Ooh, let me see the other this Spritzy over here. So we got Spritzy from this, the good, the known good pack. Man, those are, are dead on. So I'm pretty sure that the cards inside here are genuine. There's a Pokemon catcher, trainer, Perugly, Bayleaf, Phantump, which is a common reverse, and a Gold Duck, uh, non hollow rare. Um, only thing I can think of at this point is uh, the is a genuine pack inside, but something definitely very fishy going on with the uh, with this outer package um, I'm in the, you can even see the print is like real blurry so a one it seems crazy that someone would go to all the trouble of printing out an outer um, one of these things like maybe they got a bunch of packs weighed the packs and um, Kept all because it did not have a hollow in it. Like maybe someone bought a bunch of packs, weighed the packs, and then printed out like um, I don't know what you call these things. The outer packaging because outer packaging looks awful. I mean it's definitely not legit. So be very aware or be very cautious buying packs from Walmart. I would say. Look at the packaging, make sure that it has this, because um, they can't fake that. They can't fake the uh, the glossy um, inks on the uh, on the package like that, because obviously, look at that. That's that's pretty bad. And just be very cautious. I'm gonna look at this little part here because that's weird looking. I'm gonna look at it on the new pack. For the good pack. See, even that looks weird. It's just a lot more crisp on this pack than the suspected pack. And man, they even got these little, um, what do you call it, these perforations on there. So, I mean, I, I guess it could have been some bad ink put on the packages by Pokemon, but. Like, even the paper can't be the same kind of paper because, look, good pack is white inside. This is bled through like crazy. So, this is this is kind of troubling. Just be, be careful when you're buying packs out there and even at the store. I mean, I certainly would not recommend um, buying any packs that look like this. I just wanted to... See if they were fake cards inside and try to figure out what's going on with these. So stay tuned for more videos.